This lesson is filmed in a unique early years unit, comprising of 20 nursery children working with their teacher Janet, and 30 reception age children working with their teacher Lisa. The two teachers in working and planning together have decided that they will take the theme Jack and the Beanstalk as their setting. They have four teaching assistants who are known to all the children, but two work predominantly with the nursery age and two others work predominantly with the reception age children on mathematics as the theme within Jack and the Beanstalk. The 20 children working with Janet in the nursery has split into two groups. She's looking at counting, with lots of different variety of activities to build up their knowledge of counting in sequence. This was planned as part of the theme of Jack and the Beanstalk and you'll see them using various artefacts, articles to consolidate the concreteness of their learning of the maths and counting. Find out the answer to the problem or whether we have to take away. Or whether we have to take away to find out the answer to the problem. We don't know yet because we haven't found out. So shall I pick a shall I pick a problem for us to do together? This one. Shall I read the problem? Here we go. The hen laid five golden eggs, but Jack took three of them down the beanstalk. How many eggs did the hen have left now? First of all, we have to decide, is that an add problem or a take-away problem? Yeah, it's a take-away problem, isn't it? Because Jack took the eggs from the hen. So, Sean, sh can you put a circle around the take-away sign so we know what we need to do to work out our problem? Take-away, that's the one. Good boy. Well done, can you sit down then? Now what have we got to do? Now what have we got to do? Jack laid five golden the head laid five golden eggs. What do we need to do? I know. What do, how many eggs do we need to start with then? Five. And that's right, important information. You've been doing all the eleven How many? Do you want to write eleven down for me then, please, Sophia? Right to the top. Good boy. That's pink up the bottom. Now have a look. Is that one at the top of the giants? So we don't need that one, do we? It's a little wiggly. Yours is ten. Do you think it's yeah. at the end? Yeah, that might be over, isn't it? Just put that one back in there, then, then count how many you've got now. So count those. I know. How many? Ten. Are you sure? Did you count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, ten. Fantastic, that's perfect counting. Well done. Right, we need to write number ten. Lennon, can you write number ten on there? Come and put three there then Ollie to finish off our calculation because Jack took three eggs didn't he? Come and put three here and on your board. Well done Sean. You going to do mine for me Ollie? Yeah. Good boy. You're not adding up this symbol it's a... I'm trying to help myself. Okay. Oh, we've got our, oh, well done. Oh, well done, Ollie. Thank you. Now, five. We've got our calculation. Five, take away three. Who can remember the symbol we need there before we put the answer? Christopher, can you remember? Equals, isn't it? Equals. Is it too long? Equals. Well done. That means I'm ready for the answer. Let's put the answer down. Well done. Now, we've got our number sentence now. Should we read it all together? Are we ready? Let's go then. Five. Away. Equals. Now, have we got the answer yet? What do we need to do to work out the answer? What do we need to do to our eggs? Take. Come on then, everyone. Come and take away. 